evening all. <clears throat> it's actually just gone quarter past seven. And I've just stuffed the kebab. Because <clears throat> I hadn't had one for a long while, so I thought, why not? Oh, hell, my legs got stiff. Ooh, ee, ooh. Find bloody receipts here, there, and everywhere. Right. <sighs> I've got itchy eye. Well, there we go. Right, I think I'm ready. <clears throat> Had my brother pop up earlier. Uh, he just stayed for a little while. He was meant to go to Dad's, but apparently he hadn't... Well, last I knew, about an hour ago, he hadn't turned up. After an hour of uh, leaving here, so... <clears throat> Don't know where he went. Hopefully not back to his ex. He's fucking stupid if he has, but what can you do? Anyway, what have I been up to today other than that? I put that up. <clears throat> and uh, all I've used, and this is a uh, pretty sturdy look. It's not bouncing too much. I just use these. <clears throat> My stepdad gave me that idea yesterday, as I said in the, um, the last vlog. Um, and the reason I went for that idea is because I've got no legs getting in the way, have I? And I ain't got no leg to get in the way with uh, getting to stuff on there and whatnot, so. Those shelving on the floor, <clears throat> I'll paint those black and I'll uh, mount them under here. I'll mount them so the bottom comes in line with the bottom of the bracket. Because they're a bit too wide to go between the brackets, so I'll stick them end to end like that and just put them just underneath the brackets holding the bench up. Uh, that might be tomorrow's job. Um, I do believe I've got some black paint. That would be suitable. Shall we just have a quick look? Bum, 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 bum. It's up the corner. What have I got up the corner? I haven't got a clue. Hammerite's no good. Black gloss. I believe that's the one that I want. I've got a wood tin of hammer right there, and I've got some silver as well. I'm sure, I've got another tin of this somewhere, but that's the one I'll use most likely. Anywho, I just need to disappear for a minute. Oh, bloody hell. My guts today. It's baked beans. I know it is. It's every time I eat baked beans. Did I walk him in this room? Yes, I did walk him in this room. <laughs> I couldn't remember if I wanted to go into the bedroom or this room. Anyway, um, a friend of mine and fellow YouTuber, Mark Hyder, was um, talking about Lego in his latest vlog. And he mentioned how uh, he'd lost a big yellow box of Lego during a move which uh, I think if that was me it would tick me off because Lego is worth money so even if you didn't want that could have been sold <laughs> uh, never mind you know I've I've lost things that I kick myself for as well now but, uh, <laughs> Anyway, um, he also mentioned about a fire station he had that just randomly collapsed overnight um, and he didn't have the box or the instructions for it anymore so uh, so uh, he couldn't um, rebuild it. Um, <laughs> as a collector I do keep all instruction manuals. One if I ever did decide to sell any sets, I can sell them with the instructions because they're 
it gives it a bit more value. And secondly, if I do drop one, uh, and it smashes into smithereens, which I actually have done <laughs> more than once, more than him. I break my LEGO models more than him, even though he runs all over my LEGO town. Actually, in fact, I have done some damage. I'll show you that in a minute. <laughs> and I did it after I watched Mark's vlog as well. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Um, anyway, so yeah, if I do break a model, I've got the instructions there to rebuild it. And thirdly, as I do lack room, I do like to sort of rotate models on display. So some will get dismantled and sorted all into my drawers and everything. And then if I feel like digging the instructions out and rebuilding that model, I can. So there's um, three reasons right there why I keep my instructions. And I think a lot of LEGO enthusiasts do keep their instructions for various reasons like I've given. Um, it's annoying. What's even more annoying, actually, is, you know, that hospital over there. That's going to be about four floors tall when it's done. With multiple rooms and thousands of pieces. So, dropping something like that, that does not have any instructions and has been built purely from my imagination, along, you know, like that fire station and this little cafe here on the corner all built from my own imagination drop that and end up with that in thousands of pieces on the floor that's frustrating, that's even more frustrating than dropping an actual Lego set that has instructions because <laughs> uh, I've actually had actually I think that's only happened to me once when I was little actually, my mum did it I think I think it was, it was either my mum or my brother at the time, I can't remember, but that, I actually cried. I actually literally cried. <laughs> uh, yeah, I knocked the police station over. <laughs> Thankfully all it's done is just broken the um, six supports and the roof, detachable roof has fallen off. Other than that it's alright, so I can just put that together, but... That's not necessarily a bad thing because I've got to put the proper base plates all in there and whatnot before I secure the police station in place. And I've got to put the supports and whatnot under there because Nemo, bless him, Saturday night when my brother was here and he stayed the night, Nemo stood on this bit and it just went woof, straight through. <laughs> bless his little heart. So, uh, yeah, oh, I keep forgetting I've got to get some bricks to finish that roof off. Uh, I got sidetracked with buying lamps last week. It, with me, it just depends what I'm in the mood to buy. Because I could buy another lamp or two next payday, or it could be something My Little Pony Red, or it could even be Lego related. It just, it literally depends on what mood I'm in, you know, and what hobby I want to uh, give attention to that week, if that makes sense. Uh, I was trying to figure out what that cat is doing up the corner. Oh, he's... My cat is so weird. I think he's got something against Celestia as well. When this um, Celestia Builder Bear was on the floor, he kept getting hold of it and biting it and whatnot. And somewhere, I don't know what he's done with it or where it's gone, there was a piece of cardboard. Actually, there's a bit of it down there. That I was keeping. It was from last month's My Little Pony magazine which um, had this as a free gift, which I've still got to finish. The um, Celestia Pony, oh, one of her wings I fell off. I'll have to glue her wing back in. Um, and I was keeping the backing card for the, um, that figure. So I had a 
a reference picture to a painter so I could paint the colours. He shredded it. It felt it was on there and it fell off there and was laying down there and he just got hold of it and shredded it. <laughs> so he's got something against Princess Celestia for some reason, like I said. That's what that is. <coughs> yeah, there it is. Here's the corner of it. Do you not like Princess Celestia? She doesn't get enough love, does she? You're a meanie. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to chuck that in the bin, I think. I don't know where the rest of it has gone. Are you eating it or something? <laughs> no idea. He's not touched any of my other pony plushies or pony figures or anything like that except that one. Where's my twilight gone? Did I put her over here? Oh, I did. Oh. Dipstick. I was getting worried then because I couldn't find my uh, twilight. Whoops. These bloody things. They don't stand very well. I like nodding dogs as well, look. Oop. Oh. Bye, Apple Bloom. <laughs> and uh, I got today, or oh, this month's magazine, I got the Wonderbolt Rainbow Dash as well. Some people don't open their magazines, but I'm too much of a rebel, I have to. I just like to feel the item and have the item, you know, on display like this. But, you know, each to their own. I think there's, uh, it's the same with um, Lego, actually. There's so many people out there that keep every box for every set. And the way I see it, one, I don't have the room to do that anyway, to keep all the boxes. And two, there's plenty of people out there that keep them anyway. Would it really make a difference if I did? Not likely. Same with My Little Pony merchandise, you know, it wouldn't make a difference if I kept it. There's plenty of fans. There's plenty of fans out there that uh, keep all the, keep figures in packaging and whatnot. So, I don't think me not doing it would uh, make a difference. Uh, I'm not sure why people would keep them in. Well, I suppose there's a couple of reasons, really, isn't there? One, to keep them in absolute mint condition. And two, I suppose, the monetary value to collectors, if you ever chose to sell them on. The same with Lego. You know, a lot of sets are actually worth more if they're with their box. Worth even more if you haven't opened them. That's why a lot of Lego collectors, do you know what they do? They will actually go into a shop or go onto the lego.com website. And they won't just buy one set. They will buy a half a dozen to a dozen sets. Of, you know, six to twelve sets. All the same. And what they... What a lot of Lego, if I had the money I'd do the same thing and if I had the room, but well I could have the room if I like gave up my computers and my road lamp collection as well. Um, but what they do, they buy the, all these sets, they'll open one, because most of them will have a town like I've got, and I'll put it in their town or put it in their own personal parts bins. Some they will keep boxed and put away so they can sell them as a sealed boxed set when that model is retired because the value because it then can't be bought from Lego it then increases in value and the rest they put in their Bricklink stores. They'll open them up just sort the parts into their Bricklink store and sell the parts. Because uh, so many builders like me, we always need parts. It doesn't matter what you're going to build, I can guarantee you will need to buy some sort of part or parts to finish it. 
I mean, I still need tiles for the fire station. I need a heck of a lot more white brick for the hospital. As well as tiles, as well as windows. I think they're the main things I actually need. I've just remembered I've made a boo-boo in the brickwork on that second floor. <laughs> I was meant to where I've put the curved bricks on the corners just to give the building a bit of, uh, you know, style. I forgot to do that on the second floor. I've done a normal square corner. <laughs> Whoops. I must remember to rectify that before I continue to build it. But I do need a bunch more of those. I need a bunch more. Lots of stuff, actually. Those red windows. I'm going to need a shed load more of those. It's actually been so long since I've worked on that hospital, I can't remember what the big room is for upstairs. <laughs> um, I think it's the ward, the recovery ward, I think. <laughs> I'm building a hospital and even I've forgotten what the rooms are. The ground floor's complete, it's all tiled and whatnot. I think I've got the furniture in. But, uh, it... It's a lot of work. It's a lot of... You have to be prepared... Well, I suppose it's like most hobbies. You have to be prepared to put time and effort into building things like that. But it's relaxing. It is really relaxing. That's why I like doing it. And actually, in fact, I found something else that was uh, quite relaxing to do. I uh, Not only did I buy the My Little Pony magazine, I bought the sticker album as well. From Panini. Anyone that's ever collected the football stickers over the years will know the Panini name. They do all sorts of sticker albums. But uh, Sainsbury's had a Nectar Points offer on as well, so I thought, add that to my shopping list. It's more Nectar Points at the end. Uh, and uh, actually that paid off because I've now got the minimum £2.50 on my Nectar card. So, uh, actually I've got that and I'm about halfway there to another £2.50, but it ended today unfortunately. I only saw it today as well. The big um, cardboard advert board in store. Basically, you earned your normal amount of nectar points on whatever you spend in store. Then... As a bonus, it's multiplied by 10. So, you know, if you had, um, I don't know, five nectar points on your shop, and it would be multiplied by 10. But, uh, yeah, I will actually just save. I know Sainsbury's isn't actually one of my favourite stores to go to, but... It does have that benefit. You do get points on your nectar card. I think it's like one point per one pound you spend. And you need a thousand points for a, um, to earn a pound back on the nectar card, I think. It's uh Yeah, I'm sure that's how it works. But it's a nice little benefit, you know. Especially if you could save them all year, so come Christmas you can save a little bit on your Christmas shopping. Um, but you can only spend it in £2.50 increments. Um, of course you could still spend £10 if you've got that value in, obviously, £2.50 increments. That would be four increments, obviously. And uh, you could spend that on something, it'll deduct those points. Right. It's gonna go slow now. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 
bugger off, you stupid thing. Um, okay. Tomorrow's jobs. Because I will put this video up tonight. Which is Monday the 1st of May. But, uh, get those painted. Hopefully go and get some brackets for those and get those on the wall, as long as the paint dries. These I've got to put on the wall, under here, and uh, hopefully get a bit more cable tidying up. I'm just fed up kicking that one on the floor. I've got another double socket to put in there, that's only a 10 minute job though. Because uh, I've only got one double socket there and I've got that one. I'm just rotating my chair and that one plugged into it and I don't really want to plug that one into that one. I just don't feel so I don't think I'd overload it because I'm not going to be plugging anything, you know, that would require a heavy load. But I still don't feel comfortable doing that, so... I'd rather have the extra double socket there and have it plugged into that. Uh, I'm going to grab myself an antacid. Raw onions give me one hell of a heartburn. And I'm probably going to need to suck on a couple of them actually. But that's tomorrow's jobs. I hope. I've got the double socket to put in over there. Ah. Uh, the hell. Ah. Heartburn also makes me. <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> right, oh yeah. I put that up as well, look at that. I wanted that to put my soldering iron in. It's a smaller version of that hook there, it's sure. But um, this soldering iron just fell straight through. So I thought, what other tool would I want up here at hand? And I thought, well, try the glue gun. So I just took the glue gun in and it fits in there perfectly. Look at that. Um, and I've left this gap deliberately because I'm going to get some clips and clip that down the wall nicely down to the skirting board and then just run it along the top of the skirting board. Um, Which means, I've just realised, I'm going to have to cut a notch out of the back of one of these, or even just drill a hole through it, actually. I'll drill a hole through it. I'll drop the cable through so I can figure out where I've got to put these two shells. I'll get this one up on the wall first. And I can figure out where I want the hole and just drill it through it. Yeah, that's the easiest option then. Just so it looks tidy, but yeah, I need to paint those black. I've got that black paint. I'm sure, I've got another tin down in the shed. Got some paint brushes. Then uh, this area will all pretty much be done. Actually, I've got the cable for my spotlights up there, just hooked over there. I hooked all the cables up there because I needed them out of the way to put this benching which I wanted to video but my brother turned up so that sort of threw a spanner in the works for that. But uh, I'm gonna I've put the spotlight bulbs in from the one up the corner Whee! over there because I barely use that one. I do use it but not often. Uh, I'm gonna wait for Lidl's to get their LED bulbs in again then I'll get another couple don't know if I need the third one. Let's, uh, I've got to take all this down anyway, haven't I? I'm going to order a pack of 50. I'll show you what they are. They're these up here. Pack of 50 of those. Focus on it. Yeah. There we go. Those little sticky back clips. Next time I get paid. And uh, I can then sort out all these thin cables. This is too thick, which is why I'm just going to use ordinary round cable clips. They, this is too thick for their metal hooks to clamp around it. 
it only just fits around these. But, uh, what was I going to do? I just hung the cables up here so they were out of the way. I also think, just to keep things tidy as well, I'll plug this in under there when I've got that six-way in as well. That phone plug is going under the desk as well. Hmm. I don't know. There's plenty of light coming off of those, but I'm just wondering, would a third one be too much? I know they're cheaper in Lidl's when they get their LED bulbs in, so I might get three. If it's too much, I can just take it out and uh, use it as a spare. Right. On that note. I'm going to shut the camera down, but on the end of this, I'm going to put some footage of my trains going around the track. So, enjoy that. But, until then, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And, uh, subscribe if you haven't already for more. I was going to say daily vlogs, but they're not really daily anymore. It's as and when. It's at least two, three go up a week. But anyway, hope you enjoy the following footage of my railway. Talk to you next time.